Hey YouTube, I uh, wanted to show you some frags that I got from my uh, from my tank, and um, their regular price was twenty dollars, but um, I got it for ten dollars each frag, and they're pretty decent size. So uh, a tip that I found out was to take a girl with me, and um, to buy the frags. I don't know if that actually had anything to do with them lowering the price uh, or not, but um, I feel like if a girl's interested in a reef tank, uh, she has one by the way, um, they would do anything to uh, make her stay in the hobby. So I ended up getting a couple of corals for 10 bucks, um, decent size. So I want to start off with the Xenius, pulsing Xenius here. Um, now these Xenias, although they look small right now, um, they were pretty big, um, comparison to my hand here. Um, yeah, there was, it was just a huge ball of Xenia that they gave me for 10 bucks. And, um, inside here in the middle, they actually have some green Zoas in there. Um, I didn't think, I don't know if they realized they gave me, a uh, a coral with another coral inside <laughs> but um, I ended up getting that as a surprise when I took it when I took it home and um, I started uh, putting it in my tank I noticed it that that uh, that I had some green zoas in there what I which I thought was pretty cool um, and then I ended up getting some green and red Montiporas uh, size on my finger compared to that this is actually bigger than what it actually looks on the camera um, such a beautiful coral I ended up uh, putting them too too close to each other so the red Montiporo got a uh, got pretty beat up by the green one as you can tell uh, it's kind of white on the side of the rim right there um, when I looked at it this coral was actually on top of this one so it got pretty beat up um, these two SPS corals, um, I have no idea what they are, uh, all I know is that this one has a slightly green color to it, and this one has like a pinkish, reddish color to it, uh, let me see if I can show you, you can see it, um, that actually is a really nice coral, um, I ended up putting it, that same coral in my uh, friend's, uh, 80 gallon tank, and she loves it. Um, this coral was actually the polyps were really uh, extended in her tank, so I'm pretty excited to see uh, how this coral is gonna end up in my tank. Um, we ended up getting two, um, purchasing two of these, one for hers and one for mine. And um, yeah, here's my uh, a can, I believe that's what it's called. Um, my uh, God, I forgot what this is called. <laughs> Uh, apologize for that a brain fart um, <laughs> uh, this coral right there it's pretty opened up as well and um, I wanted to show you my setup that I did uh, you can't really see it at all let me show let me get a let me get a a flashlight so I could show you guys Uh, on my left hand side I have a dosing pump another dosing pump and that really sucks but I have all my connections uh, and outlets really nice here uh, I have my reef keeper light here set up already temperatures at 81 degrees 80 degrees around there um, ORP 319 pH 8.3 uh, 2 and 3 it's kind of uh, goes up and down between that but um yeah I don't really know much about uh, the ORP um, I know it has something to do with uh, your tank being uh, cleaner uh, but I don't really know much about it if you guys could help me out just leave a comment below uh, kind of explain to me uh, what's the range that a, a reef tank should be at uh, for the ORP um, yeah so that's 
that's pretty much it. I'm um, pretty excited about these uh, Xenias here. I actually wanted to get two, uh, two of these, and um, but I decided to just go with one because I wasn't sure if these Xenias were going to survive in my tank or not. Um, for Xenias, I feel like it's a hit and miss. Um, for some people, it grows like crazy, and uh, for some others, they can't really uh, uh, have them in their tank. They'll just melt away. But um, for my levels here, I ended up testing it uh, two days ago or so. Uh, my calcium level is at 400 ppm. Um, my alkalinity level is at 5.6 uh, dKH. Magnesium is at uh, 1080. So my magnesium and alkalinity, I'm definitely uh, dosing that uh, slowly. I don't want to make too much of uh, a huge change and uh, stress the corals or kill them. So I'm doing that slowly, but slowly I want to get my uh, alkalinity level at around 9 or 10 uh, dKH, but we'll see. Uh, calcium level, SF400, I really want it at 450 though. And um, magnesium level, uh, I heard that uh, 1400 was actually pretty decent for uh, a reef tank. So I'm going to keep dosing that until I achieve that uh, level there. Um, but yeah, this is... This is really exciting stuff for me. Um, I had a reef tank for about since 2009, and um, this is still pretty exciting to me. Um, every morning I look at my tank and see what's new. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. All right, thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next uh, update. Bye.